Man, I thought I would never say this. FL Studio 21.1 has me considering using one of these to create music. Don't, don't you dare judge me. Don't you freaking judge me. And why do I say this? Well, in FL Studio 21.1, they introduce scale locking. In order to access scale locking, you will have to go into the piano roll. So all you have to do is click on this thing that is called a channel, and then you would select piano roll. So right click or two finger gesture on the MacBook, and you can get to piano roll, to go to this drop down menu, and then you will select view. So from view, you can go to scale highlighting. What we can do right here from scale highlighting is just select a C. Make sure that you right click or two finger gesture to keep this menu up and then make sure that you have snap to scale on. So what I need to do is go over here and select a minor because you know, minor is the thing to do, right? So minor natural and now you see that the ghost note patterns, which is what I call the light skin and dark skin has changed. If I was to go over here and select a major, you can see that the background shifts again. And what I need to do right here is just go right back. And now we can write in a C minor. Now, all you have to do, if you have scale locking on, which you can turn it on and off using this icon right here. So if I turn it off, I have access to all the keys. Now, if I turn it on, I have access to the keys that are in that scale. From this point on, I can just draw stuff out just using general rules. You know what would be nice? If FL Studio actually had a feature to where I could just draw minor chords perfectly. Well, it always had this feature right here. So the first trick that I wanna show you is how you would draw perfect minor chords. You will go right over here to this hamburger menu and then you will pull up what they call stamps. So when I click on this, I have stamps here. So what if I just wanted to do fifths or sevenths? Well, I can select a fifth and then start from the C. And now I have a fifth. So if you didn't know how to draw out your MIDI notes in a piano roll to perfectly be in harmony, yes, FL Studio has that feature. So let's go ahead and get a minor seven. So let's go ahead and do that. Matter of fact, let's do a minor ninth. And what does it sound like? Let's draw this out a little bit further to be a whole note. Now, what if I wanted to go and just draw that or put another stamp out there like that? I would just go back into stamp and let's go up to this right here and draw an F. Now you see why I want to use a mouse? And just like that, we have perfect minor chords that fit into that scale. Let's go ahead and make a quick little melody using these chord progressions that we have right in front of us. So what I would do is just go in, you know, press control and then highlight all of these chords right here and then press Alt and A. Alt and A will bring up Apigio mode. And this is a good way for you to get quick melodies. Essentially in art mode, uh, what you can do is a few things that I've talked about before. You can do a chord mode and then do time manipulation. And then you can change the patterns, flip alternative and so forth. And then you just adjust the time. And this is one of the quickest ways for you to create a melody without trying. Did serious. So what I did here was draw out MIDI notes using scale locking stamps and the arpeggio setting. And let's just hear it real quick. Now, what about that ending part? There's something about the ending part that doesn't sound jazzy enough for me. So I deleted the G minor seventh, and what I'm gonna do is access the hamburger menu where it has all of the fancy chords. So what you can do is you can experiment and experiment freely since you're in scale locking, but let's go ahead and try a seventh, fifth flat, ninth. So I'm gonna go over here and just draw it right over here. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Anyways, back to it. And now let's play it again.
Now I don't like that, so I'll just go ahead and delete it. And now I'll just try another one. So just in case. I believe this fancy chord will work. Close enough to the feeling. I think one of the biggest additions to the piano roll now is that you don't have to stick to one scale. Let's go back to the piano roll drop down menu and then we'll select time markers, but we're gonna select key markers. So let's go ahead and drop in a C minor key marker right here, just for the sake of it. And then what we'll do is we'll move it over using this right here. And you can see it slide over just a bit. And once everything is said and done, then you will be able to accomplish that. So let me go ahead and reset that so it can be perfectly in the very beginning. You know how FLB, FLB on that wacky shit. I found a bit of a bug, but knowing image line, they probably will fix this within the next update. But as you can see, you can continue to write. And now if you look, pay attention to the lines, you can see that I'm going to write in a C minor, G minor. And if I wanted to write into another scale or whatnot, maybe I just want to start off with like a pentatonic or some crap just for some whatever reason. Then I can go over here to key scale and then put in a minor pentatonic and then switch the scale up again. Uh, per whole note. Here's an astonishing hack for people that like to use pre-made MIDI chord progressions like I do. So I have some MIDI chord progressions made by Musician Paradise, which is a talented keyboardist and musician, clearly. And what I'm gonna do is just drag them over here. But as you can see, I have it locked into a C minor still, but there are some things that need to be changed. So it started off with a D. If you look over here at the piano roll, you can see that the first chord in the scale is a D. So what I need to do is go back into scale locking. So just right click on this note sign right here and we'll set it to a D. Once we set it to a D minor, then we can see a couple of things here. Now, a, a key trick to doing this is if things don't fit into the black, then Maybe it might be a major. So let's go over here. And when we set it to a major, then we see that it is a major. Let's go ahead and play that now. But when we look at this further, we can see that there are things that are still hitting on the black side of the notes. So that isn't in the scale, right? But if I took it down, that doesn't feel right. And that's because of fancy chords. So what I need to do is just go ahead and turn this off so I can drag this note back over. Even though that trick isn't absolute, like giving you the whole DNA of what you can do as far as controlling the MIDI or drawing out the MIDI, one thing is absolute is this right here. If you wanna go a step further, then I will tell you right now that the FL key mini is a good way to start. It's a good way, nice controller. And the other thing, key 37, not to mention this baby right here, which is this big mug, the key 49. Let me explain. So I have the key 37 right here. And the reason why I brought this up again, because you can lock in scales and so forth and play chord progressions. So all I had to do is just lock in the scale and it's pretty simple. You just press shift and scale. So let's go ahead and record it inside of FL Studio. So I'll just arm record right here and then hit metronome. And then you can also quantize at the end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that annoying metronome and boom. To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Make sure that you subscribe. What do you think about FL Studio 21.1? I think it is a winner, especially with scale locking. And there is so much more that I can talk about that I will within the following weeks.